Peace and blessings, beautiful beings. I go by the name Stella. I'm a singer-songwriter here in New York, and I'm here to talk about my new single, Frequency. I lie awake, but sleep. That's why I'm the reason why I chose to name that song Frequency because I believe that what you choose to do frequently becomes your frequency. So anything that we do, anything that we say, how we act, how we move within ourselves and with other people around us is our frequency. Each and every one of us has a frequency and collectively we are a frequency. Create the frequency that I see to live in. My journey with frequency and with self-awareness has really taught me to stay in balance with my mind, body, and spirit. The way I choose to react to certain circumstances or experiences is different. I continue to want to expand myself and honestly unlearn what I have been programmed. I question everything so that I continue to seek the answer and the answer is always within me. The one thing that has really specifically taught me to focus on listening to my own voice is first distinguishing between the ego and spirit. For me, that is the origin of duality. That is the main battle that I feel all of us actually are having daily. The ego in my experience has been greedy, has been angry, has been unjust, has been impatient, has been aggressive, whereas my spirit has been soft, has been welcoming, has been nurturing, and I continue to walk with spirit because ego's not really doing it for me. <laughs> Most of the time, I wasn't even aware that I continued to listen to ego. And I do remember that point was the time when I actually stopped writing music for a good two years. I stopped being creative. I stopped making my heart sore. I stopped aligning myself with music, with writing, with playing the piano, with performance. And I continue to allow ego to feed reasoning of why it was okay for me to not sing. And it felt dark, it felt almost depressive. Looking back, that was when I was listening to ego without even being aware that I was listening to ego. The role of creativity for me is freedom. Sometimes when I write certain songs, I find myself crying at the end of writing the last words or just singing it. And that feels freeing. You know, I feel like when we specifically cry, that's our spirit just like releasing so much energy that we didn't even know was building up. I feel joyous whenever I'm in the realm of music and theater and collaboration with other artists. The role of creativity is peace. It feels very easy to align myself in music and, and songwriting. The role of creativity is like the sun that is peaking at its highest peak. And at that point, you can't tell the sun anything. You know, there is no blocking the sun. And that is my highest frequency. It's creative, it's being creative. <laughs> I thank you guys for tuning in and listening to what my input of the spiritual journey that I'm having. And I hope that you continue to spread your own frequency because just like a radio station can be switched with a knob, it is that easy to change your frequency. So with that being said, peace and blessings. <laughs>